we got kind of a low scoring game going here. Uh, DeMond and Tabitha have five points. Everybody else is tied for last. But that's all right. We can change that. Gentlemen, let's see how well your wives have predicted what you will say. Remember, these questions will now be worth 10 points. And here's our first one. Gentlemen, which compliment would you say you have heard least, least in your life? You're so good in bed, you're so funny, or you're so interesting? Which one of those, DeMond, have you heard least in your life? Uh, Got to be interesting. You're, you're so, so interesting. interesting. I'm, not, you know, I'm not very interesting. You're not interesting? I'm, day-to-day -day person. I yeah, I got go you. to work and go home and watch TV. That's yeah. my day. She said the compliment you've heard least is, you're so good in bed. No. <laughs> Not like that. Please, you know, you, that's, no, you, 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 that's, it's good. You shouldn't have a lot of sexual partners. Yeah. So, you know, yeah, make good out of that. Go ahead. That's a compliment. Yeah. Boy, oh, I couldn't believe it. She said that. I couldn't believe it, man. <laughs> <laughs> Richard. I would say you're so interesting. You're so interesting. You know what yeah. she said? She said that what you've heard least is you're so good in bed. <laughs> yeah. Well, from her. Yeah. yeah. I know I asked her. I said, is he good? She said, eh. Yeah. You like that? <laughs> I'm really sorry, was, Richard. Yeah. He's telling me, you know. You hey, Brian, which one of these have you heard the least now? Uh, you're so interesting. You're so interesting. She said the one you've heard the least is that you're so interesting. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm about. Yeah, yeah. Brian, does that mean that you're funny? Oh, yes. Yeah. I would like to think so. <laughs> does that mean you're good in bed? Oh, I would like to think so. Yeah. <laughs> Most definitely. Okay. Hey, Max, which one of those have you heard the least? You're so interesting, Bob. You're so interesting, Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Okay, I, she said you've heard the least. You're so good in bed. Because I'm the only one telling you that. Who else would tell you you're good in bed? Nobody. See? Not now. <laughs> and everybody tells you you're funny and you're interesting. Is he funny? He's hilarious. He really is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's so funny. <laughs> and he's good in bed, too. Well, yeah, but he's just not very interesting either. Huh? <laughs> Let me try another question. Gentlemen, oh, how God. would your wife complete this sentence? This is her talking now, okay? If you had to get a license to make love, my husband would pass the written test with flying colors. But to pass the practical test, he would have to brush up on his what? Brian. And boy, she had an answer real fast. Uh, I would say uh, talking to her because she wants me to talk to brush her. Brush up on that talking. Yeah. All right. She said, no, you have to brush up on your uh, card, please. It's your timing that's off. I, timing? I just meant, you know, like the times that we well, want like to have you, sex. You know. Max? I need to brush up on um, spending more time before we get to... Okay, so uh, it's your little foreplay thing you need to brush up on. Right. Yes, all right. Uh, Dillette says that you certainly need to brush up on your technique. His foreplay you have, technique. You have lousy technique. <laughs> Demond, what do you think? Hopefully she oh. said talking. Talking. Oh, you know what she said? Ooh, timing. Your timing I is terrible. It's three o'clock, 5.30. No, you don't. I'm no, sleep. Sleep. What do you always say? What I'm do you always sleep. say? I'm sleep. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> what do you always say? What do you always say? How's it feel? Hey, Richard? I know she'll get her, well, I, mean, I shouldn't say, ah, hugging. Hugging, all right. Now, she said, you know, oh, oh you with bad timing. You, she, you got bad timing on. She also. sits there and says, we don't hug. You don't <laughs> hug. You don't hug. That's all I ever She's hear. not very impressed with your lovemaking. Uh, I just want yeah. you to know that. Hey, before we get to our 25-point bonus question, let's see where our winning couple will be going on their honeymoon. It's a fabulous Caribbean cruise. You'll spend one week aboard a Costa cruise ship, Europe's leading cruise line. Visit such ports as St. Thomas, Grand Cayman, Ocho Rios, and Costa's private island. Experience cruising Italian style from Costa Cruises. Back to you, Bob. Here's our 25-point bonus question. Gentlemen, what's the last thing you ate before leaving the house today? The last thing you ate. Couple number one, Max and Dillette, you have zero. Get it right, and you'll be in first place. Miss it, and you go home <laughs> in last place. What do you think, Max? I had nothing to eat this Nothing. Morning. She said nothing. <laughs> yes. Come on, number three. Richard and Natalie with zero. 25 to give you 25. Tied for the lead if you get it right. If you miss it, you go home in the last place all by yourself. T. T. She said you had mm, egg McMuffin. Egg McMuffin. Oh, we went to McDonald's. Yeah. Couple number two. DeMond and Tabitha with five. 25 to give you 30. Get it right. You'll be in first place. DeMond. Absolutely nothing. Nothing. She said nothing. You got it. 
right, couple number four, Brian and Shannon Tanner with 10. 25 will give you 35. If you get it right, you and your wife are going on a fabulous second honeymoon. What's your answer? I would have to say a donut. A donut, she said. Ah, piece of donut. You got it. Brian and Shannon, you're our newlywed game grand prize winners. Thanks to our couple. Thank you. I'm Bob Eubanks. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody. I'm Bob Eubanks.